What the? What oh my god! Oh. Never seen that before, ever. Alright, we are here and no one else is for once. It's opening day of turkey season, so there's a lot of kayakers out here though. It's really, really foggy. Um, it's cold. It's like 45 degrees right now. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to go out and try to stick us some big fish because we know there's some on beds. Right. Dude, those rods, these ones right here, this one, that's the one with that $60 Daiwa I was telling you about. That rod's only 60 bucks too. It's like, their heavy action rod is pretty much a medium heavy though. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like really, I mean, there's really no difference in them from what I could tell. But it's like a perfect chatterbait rod. It's got so much bend in it. You catch a three pounder and the thing's just bent sideways. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I did not, dude, I didn't know if I really had one. <sighs> Immediately, as soon as I dropped it. You ready? Oh, nope. Come on. Here he comes. Let's go. Yes. Go, dude! Stanky Sanko. Four pounder. Look at that. Perfect. Roof in the mouth. Right where you're supposed to be. Too. Beautiful. Right where you're supposed to be. Immediately, as soon as I dropped it in there, I was like, oh, I kind of felt that tick. I think I just needed to slow it down a little bit. Heck. Four pounder. Let's go. Go ahead, let her go. It just like efficiency wise, like like all practice too. Like all practice, like if I ever like, cause like my wrist, I swear I have freaking tendonitis or carpal tunnel. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go. Maybe I did have a bite, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Go. There we go. Laid the hammer down on him. Right in the top. Look at that. Easy three and a half. Three. Is it the male? Dude. Talons down. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Whoo! Scared the shit out of me. I thought you freaking snapped your line. You can flip him or you want to net him? Number three, though. Good job, buddy. Sitting right in the sun. No, he was up in the reeds. He swam out. Was he? Yeah. Okay. That's what I, I was. I flipped right on that one. I was looking off, and the line's like under your feet. So. <laughs> Wow, he held that long, huh? Yeah, he just came out Here we go, number three. Oh shit, that live well still running. Yep, I knew it. See, that's what I did. <laughs> Forgot to shut my live well. <laughs> it doesn't have a. Uh, a switch well that's what happens when you don't uh, have a live well cut off or a float <laughs> just over flood it <laughs> whoops Oh, duh. Might help if I freaking turn it on. Dummy. Now it's pumping out. <laughs> oh, you dummy. Oh, right there. Right there. Five pounder. Four pounder. There's nothing up there. I wonder if I can get through there. 
There's nothing in here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, baby. Oh, it's definitely the reeds. We're so close. I wonder if I can use the main motor to get out of here. Mercury getting it done. The one that was carp fishing? Yeah. Or bow fishing him? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna grab my bow and just doosh, doosh. And they're so easy to find too. Oh yeah. They're freaking everywhere. Oh, you had one? He just came up for it? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. I. Yes, let's let's go. Oh. That was a good fish, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. That's a, like a perfect area too. It's all right. You'll get them. Yep. Just flip right back in there as quick as you can. Yeah, you know, like all of them are just like super subtle. I'm lucky I got that one on the freaking Senko. Hardly even set the hook. That hook did its job. That's the biggest one too. Yeah, I mean it's Oh, that's a stump. I think it's I think it's over four. Oh, that's easy. I think it's over four. One in there about three. What the? What? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh, Kelly, you got that. Oh my gosh, I'm recording. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, am I, I'm recording. Dude, I gotta stop the boat. Oh my gosh. Dude. A bass just jumped inside the boat. Oh, he got me. His fin got me. Never seen that before, ever. I. <laughs> There's a three and a half, four pounder that just jumped on the back of these reed lines in the boat. Three, eight, one. Three, eight, one. Almost a four pounder jumped in the boat. Let her go. She gone. Even when you were walking back here, I was like, it's, it's a carp. There's no way a bass just jumped in the boat. There's no way. <laughs> I, I hope I let, oh. If that wasn't on camera, you, you no, got I, it, it is, it is, it is. I, I'm recording.
I mean, I, I really hope that, I turned around, so I really hope this camera got it when I turned around with the bass flopping on the deck. We were coming back in this corner right here, and there was this little corner right here that was going right along the reed line, and then all of a sudden something jumped, and we thought it was a carp that was on the deck, and it was about a three and a half, four pound largie. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. I did not, we didn't do anything. We were both on the front of the deck. That is unbelievable. You, you had a dog let in, at the gas then. I had a dog that came in my boat and literally the fish were going out. I thought it was a carp. I was like, ah, oh, carp, I'm gonna still get it. I'm like, holy crap, it's a bass. <laughs> Are you? I, I still couldn't move. I was still looking, I was like, that's a, a bass. I mean, I just re like I'm getting whatever it was. I, I, dude, I don't, I, I think it might be time to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what? I can't uh, believe that just happened. I, I, I've never, I've seen it happen, but not like that. Like, he was literally on that reed line, yeah, right there, that jumps line. up yeah. on the back of the deck and is flopping on the back of the deck. I mean, I pounced on him like a freaking, like a cat. He did. <laughs> He wasn't going everywhere, anywhere. It's like a four pounder. Oh, that's so funny. That is insane. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that hook set is lethal. <laughs> Can you imagine taking that to the freaking face? <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. Absolutely insane. That's nuts. That won't ever happen again in my life. What is that? Oh my god, it is a boat. Oh no. Ooh. Whose boat is that? Oh no. Whose boat is this? Oh my gosh. Well, that's not a very good day. Where? You don't think anyone just dumped it, do you? Huh. Yo, how epic would it be to catch something off of it? This would be crazy. <laughs> Yo, is there anything in the boat? What if you catch one in the boat? Dang. What do you do? Do you like... Like how? How does that even happen? Is that is that a boat that has a plug? Do all boats have plugs? I mean, I guess they should. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This has to have a plug because it's not a regular pontoon. Yeah, Some someone literally just like left their boat. Probably just cruising. You just had. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, there's another one right there. There's two fish that just came out right there. One one right there was a bigger one, one right there was a smaller one. Floro. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Come on. Nice to just jack one quick five pounder, six pounder. Oh, stump, stump, dang it. Yeah, if that was a fish, he was gonna get stuck pretty dang good. That's all I know. Yep, nice. Stump. Got one. Let's go. 
Number five. He's a okay. dick. Well, it ain't a giant, <laughs> but we'll take him. Choke the chatterbait. It's gonna do it. It's almost 3.30. Head back to the ramp. Just shy of 14 pounds though, for a five. Well, we got a limit. Thanks to that fish that literally jumped in the boat. That is by far the craziest, one of the craziest things I've ever seen when I've been fishing. We literally thought it was a carp because the carp are jumping everywhere in the back of these pockets. And I don't know if we like spook it, spooked it or what happened, but all of a sudden you could hear it, hopefully in the clip, I obviously haven't edited it yet, but you could hear it jump up in the water and then all of a sudden you hear something flopping on the boat and I turned around and he was just flopping on the back of the boat and I grabbed him. It was almost a four pounder. So it was absolutely insane. Um, we got a limit, shy of 14 pounds. Um, we really thought that we'd go ahead and we, you know, hammer them a lot more, uh, but we found a lot of the fish are just cruising. There really wasn't a whole lot of fish that looked like that they were on beds um, with really bloody tails or anything. I think, a, I think a new wave of fish ended up moving up. Um, thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed, liked, commented. Please, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would be greatly appreciative uh, if you did that for me. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.